An American human and labor rights lawyer was kicked out of an event after questioning Democratic Senator John Fetterman about the situation in Gaza and Washington's response. 10,000 people in Gaza have been killed, half of children. The Pope's calling for a ceasefire. The UN is called for it. I'm just asking you, you're a good guy. I voted for you. I know you're a nice guy. You need this to is leave. important. You need to leave. Here, can I give you a phone? Why I think we might be on the edge of a bank bail-in, I've had a few people, and even myself, tried to transfer some money to uh, someone to help someone overseas, and I've done that before, and the bank locked it off, and I called the bank, and they're like, oh, well, we, you know, the big interview, <laughs> what's it for, who's it going to, where'd it come from, it's all none of their business, <clears throat> they're making it so difficult to transfer funds, I have a friend that sold his house, and he's take, taking that money out of the bank, like a previous video, some of you suggested anyway. And as he's doing that, the bank is locked his account. Uh, he tried to transfer some money to his wife's account. They locked that off. He had to call the bank, and the bank was, what's the money for? Where did it come from? He said, it came from me, from one of my other accounts to here, to my wife's account with me. And they refused to do it. Uh, he ended up having to get onto the the bank manager on the phone, the supervisor, and finally got them to agree that he was allowed to have access to his money. Um, I know of others that are doing the same thing. The money's just been uh, locked off, and they try to get it, they can't get it, and it becomes a real, uh, a real issue to try to get it. So I asked myself the question, why are they doing that? And I believe it's a bank bail-in. I think we're on the edge of a bank bail-in, and I'm suggesting that if you have significant funds in a bank you might need to have a think about what you're doing here you try and get it out if you're in australia and watch what's happening just shared about to share video on uh, the us another three thousand banks have closed they're closing atms in australia they're closing branches they're doing the same in the us they are driving us into having a cbdc they are about to crash our currency our currency i believe the us currency is already in a free fall it is collapsing it's not when it collapses it is collapsing it's just people are looking and going well <clears throat> on me i look at the exchange rate it's not that bad and i'm like give me a break it's it's manipulated those people own the exchange rates i was in australia uh 20 years ago and i went across the us and you know we had major problems in those 20 years of, of exchange rates and they stayed pretty consistent and it's manipulated and i i, I traded in the forex once and it's manipulated i got out as soon as that became very obvious i'm sure there's people who have made money in that this is not about one currency this is about the system collapsing the u.s system drives the world and as that system is, is broken they, they are telling us they're not hiding it we bought another system in we have bought in the cbdc biden is a wef member the wef is bringing that in america's currency is going to be wef controlled central bank digital currency so is australia we have it here already ready to go <clears throat> they're already doing uh, you know cards out on the street that people can use they are coupling the cbdc to cash and then we are going to find that they will decouple the uh, cbdc from the cash as the cash goes into a hyperinflation free fall <laughs> and the uh, cbdc is pegged to the rest of the world it's a global one world currency from a one world government klaus schwab's words and the words of BRICS. If you haven't looked up BRICS, look it up. It's uh, we're in a multipolar world. BRICS is part of the WEF, multipolar world. The uh, IMF has a coin, um, Unicoin or something they're calling it. They've released the CBDC for there. There is a CBDC ready to go in your country. Globalism is knocking at our door. The currency is about to go. Wake up, go and try and get your money out of a bank here in Australia. And uh, if you've got any significant amount or not even a significant amount and you will get interviewed and you will get a hard time because I believe a bank bail-in is on the way.
Hey everybody, it's OTWP. So, check out the new rice. Are you hungry yet? Watch and make rice. This is very interesting. Be aware of what you're buying, that's for sure. Um, I'll see y'all tonight on a live stream with a brief news update. This world has gone absolutely mad. Keep your head on a swivel, be safe out there. And most of all, hey, make sure you're buying real rice. So this year alone, over 500,000 people have lost their jobs. And this is what's going to replace people, these robots, you know, because, see, they don't complain. They don't, they don't complain about long hours. They don't complain about bathroom breaks. And they don't complain or need any type of benefits. And they don't need vacation. They can just operate seven days a week. But the other thing is, they never, ever stop. So that's the thing, see, they don't want to have to deal with humans that have feelings that maybe your grandma is sick or your dog got ran over. This way they can just keep on, keeping on. Oh, and really cheap labor once they get them installed. So this is the way of the future. Think about it. Because many people are losing their jobs. This is the time to get out of the matrix. This is the time to prepare. This is the time to be ready. Because the world is shifting into a really, really different zone. Are we in the twilight zone? I'm just asking for a friend. This stuff is really absolutely bizarre. And, you know, I keep thinking about it. Like, what happens when all the worker bees are gone? Just a thought. Three Mexicans, two of them here illegally, were arrested for trafficking 10 kilos of fentanyl. That 10 kilos can overdose and kill five million people you see because it takes two milligrams two milligrams to overdose and kill someone Juan Manuel Gutierrez Medina Juan Gutierrez Jr. and Ruperto Rocha were all living in Hillsborough County when they were arrested and charged for trafficking massive amounts of fentanyl all three had prior criminal history Polk County Sheriff Grady judge says Gutierrez Medina has been deported multiple times He's here illegally from Mexico, and he's been deported several times. He's got a long history with Border Patrol, and he's here again, and he's bringing poison to kill people in the United States. Judd